my team turn. Take me out on the water. We fishing. Way out in the woods. Where the breathing is easy, the living is good. Out in the grave. And welcome to Leary Smith Outdoors. We're sponsored by the Badger Sportsman Magazine, Bartline Barrels, Warrior Boats, Big Snow Resort, Lynch and McGuanago, Wings Over Wisconsin, Mike's Country Meats, Midwest Shooter Supplies, Burger Smokehouse, Delco, Vexlar, Dick Smith's Bait and Tackle, Come Along Measuring Tools, Commick Law Firm, Norm Zag, and Jiffy. And remember, it's a great day to be alive. Holy moly. Hey, good morning and welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. I'll tell you what, it is a very cold morning in July. And I'll tell you that we are up here at Econo and the perch fishing's actually been pretty good. Now, I don't know how it's gonna be today. We just had another front come through. Cold front, a lot of wind yesterday, and perch are very temperamental. And the reason we're up here is that I've seen several pictures of perch over 15 inches and I'll tell you in my life I've only gotten two perch over 15 inches and they both have come off Gogebic in the winter I've never caught a perch over 15 inches hey and we're fishing with our good friend Brian Claremont and of course Phil the blind guy which Phil I like your hair this morning well thank you very much <laughs> <laughs> you know it, you know what it, it, it comes down to sometimes with Phil why he's in our boat all the time is that his wife realistically likes a little time alone, so she pushes them off our way. So, you know what? And he's a pretty good fisherman. So, let's stay tuned. Let's see what happens today up here. We got our good friend Brian Claremont with us again, too. So, let's go out and do a little perch fishing on the bay and see if we can catch a 15 incher. So, stay tuned. Hey, I'll tell you something, it's pretty rare to see, uh, for me, to see loons out on the Bay of Green Bay. Unless it's just that cold that they're starting to migrate back already. Hey, I'll tell you what, when it comes to perch fishing, you gotta make sure that you are trying everything possible. Um, we're gonna be using tube jigs today. Uh, we're gonna be using worms, we're gonna be using minnows. We're gonna be using leeches, uh, we're gonna be casting, we're gonna be dead sticking. You know, that's the key to perch fishing because I'll tell you, especially when you get these cold fronts that come in like this, they're very temperamental. So trying to figure out what they want. And as the day goes on, the only positive thing we got going today is that the winds are gonna lay down, the sun is gonna come out. Um, right now it's 51, 52 degrees, and it's supposed to hit a high of almost 80. So you, you look at that temperature swing, so hopefully that'll get these fish moving again and, and get them biting. So stay tuned, let's see what happens today up here on the Bay of Green Bay. Here's our first perch of the morning. I didn't get the small one though. Is oh, it? That's a, that's a good oh, eater. There you go, what'd you get that one on? This is my little homemade rig I got. Yep. Couple of gold blades on there. Well, that one's got to swallow too, so yep. he's definitely gonna have to be but a keeper anyway. That's okay, cause this this is this is my size to eat right here. You right. can't beat these for frying. Eight inches. Yep, eight incher. Well, Brian, awesome. we're looking for a fifteen. Okay. Yep. Well, you know what? We got to start somewhere, right? That's. I would agree with you. So. That's All right. A good yeah, eater. and you can't let them go anyways. No. Nope. By the and time then, you get the hook yep, on them, we'll get them on some ice right away. That sounds good. I gave all my rod holders, my single rod holders, to. Uh, our good friends over at the Gillo team, they're making some brackets. Uh, we're gonna be coming back out on Winnebago, hopefully and doing a perch show out there with the guillotines. So uh, I don't have any rod, I got my rod trees, but I don't have any uh, single rod holders. So hopefully that, 
Rod doesn't go out of the boat today. Creating a fishing boat that delivers unsurpassed fishability, speed, and performance on the water is achieved through an ongoing commitment to quality and a driving passion for making great boats even better. You'll see this commitment to quality and a passion for building the fisherman's boat in every Warrior Boat model you see on the water. For additional information on Warrior Boat's new V208, check out their website at warriorboatsinc.com or visit your local Warrior Boats dealer to schedule a test drive and see for yourself why no fishing boat on the market offers a smoother, drier ride, more interior cockpit space, more storage, more room to fish big water in complete comfort and safety than the V208 from Warrior Boats. Dalco, far and away the nation's leading boat cover manufacturer, precisely fit for a large variety of OEM makes and models. Dalco premium covers are the boating equivalent of a hand-tailored suit. Not only are Dalco covers the best fitting and best quality, they include unique features like our polis cover lift system and ratchet attachment system, making them the easiest and fastest covers to install and remove. Visit DalcoMarine.com for more information on how to order. Use promo code LARRY10 to receive a 10% discount today. Burger Smokehouse, your handcrafted smoked meat headquarters since 1952. Our dry rub recipes, aging process, and natural hardwood smoking come together to create bold, satisfying flavors that we are proud to stand behind. Whether it's summer sausage, hearty sportsman's cut bacon, or dry rub barbecue ribs, we are your source for top-notch hardwood smoked meats that you'll be proud to serve family and friends. Visit us online at smokehouse.com or look us up at your local grocery store. What do you got going on here? I don't know what I got here. It jumped up. I think it's well, fast. Well, you know it's not a perch because perch don't jump. It's a perch. We're style. Now, you're hey, just casting perch. behind the boat, too, huh? Yeah. I'm going to get up here a second. You might need a net on this one, Larry. No nets. No net? We don't have a net sponsor. We don't have no net. OK. No I'll see net. what I can do. It's, oh, oh, we need a net on this one. This is a big bass. You got to get them in. OK, I'll you try. You can do it. Get them in. You can do it. Yeah. Stay out of the motor. All right. Can't be any bigger than the bass that we caught a couple oh, weeks ago. Oh, I don't know. With He's you. coming up again. Oh, oh that's a big one. Oh, big like ten pounds. It's it's oh. a good fiver. A good five. Ooh, that's a nice bass. Nice bass. Hey, we're we're not fishing bass today. We're after. You gotta get him. Oh, almost. <laughs> he doesn't oh, get. I got him. There you go. Look at that. That's a nice bass. Right there, hold him up. I wish there was there was a perch though this big. <laughs> right, I take That's a perch half that size. It's a nice smallmouth. I'll tell you what, Brian, that was probably some of the best smallmouth fishing a couple weeks ago we had with you that I've seen uh, ever. You know that was amazing. Wasn't that was awesome? You are man. kind of a bass fishing kind of guy, aren't you? 80s inch for inch, pound for pound, like I said, they're a lot of fun. Yeah, and it's light stuff, perch stuff too. That's awesome. Pretty cool. We'll let this girl go. We want a perch this big is what we want. Right, hopefully that thing ain't scaring my perch away. And then maybe that's why the perch are biting kind of slow. And, and it got down to 51 degrees this morning. Yeah, a little chilly, but right. hey, it is July. Yo. What do you got going I'm here? hoping for a bubble. Well, keep reeling, <laughs> keep reeling, see what it is. I'm reeling. Oh, a little pike. Pike. Nice pike. Nice pike. Ooh, real nice, nice pike. pike. Hey, hey guess what, buddy? Pike, so. I found the net somebody lost. It's a nice pike. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Whoa, that's a nice pike. I'll get him on this side. You know? Phil, I thought we were fishing for perch. <laughs> you know, I'll tell you, he there's ain't done something. Yet. There's he been ain't done yet. there's been a lot of pike this year up on the bay here. Oh maybe. The other day when I was out here. Oh, nice pike. That's a nice pike. That is a nice pike right there. Yeah, you're supposed to tell me it's a big perch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is a perch, <laughs> right? You know, and that's kind of a neat thing because all year the pike fishing out here has actually been pretty good. And obviously today we're out here trying to catch uh, perch. Well, that's why I did that for you. Just right. Perch that's why, yeah, that's probably why we weren't catching any perch right here. But yeah, it's a nice pike. Mm -hmm. so, I'm picking up on them. Hi, baby. <laughs> And as far as eating goes, that's, that's, that's yeah, really good eating there. 
It is almost the size. <laughs> yeah, I know. You want to let him go? Sure. Go ahead. You can let her. Okay. You let her go. It's going to go back and scare the perch. Oh, that's right. What if <laughs> Come back. Come back. <laughs> Film it live well. That's a. Ooh, I, I, a I just missed one. If this is a oh, perch. A walleye. Oh, it's a walleye. Well, fling him in. Fling him in. Fling him in. Fling him in. It's a walleye. Fling him in. I'll tell you what. Yeah, all right. I wish it was a perch instead because that'd yeah. be a nice sized perch. That would be the 15 inch we were okay. looking for, I'll tell you that. I thought it was a perch. Right. Darn it. Oh well, let's get back in there. Oh, look at what Larry caught. <laughs> and I get a goby, right? <laughs> hey, Larry's fish, my fish. I like that. Hey, that's for the way once. it goes sometimes. Right? <laughs> let's not see that one. Is he 15? No, I don't think so. 14. He's close. He's close. We'll put him back. Right, let's let him get that, bigger. Put that one back. Yep. Uh, I thought we were perch fishing, but they right. don't want to cooperate, so I guess we'll catch whatever we can. What do you got? Pike? I think it's bass. Walleye? Come on. Oh, is this thing strong? It's light stuff, too. Sheephead, probably. No, it ain't no sheephead. Yeah, sheephead. You got your shirt on. What do you got there? Holy man, this thing is just screaming. Yeah, sheephead, that's what I'm thinking. Whoa. I'm going to get my rods over there. <laughs> Catfish? Here comes, oh, a big Whoa, bass. That big is bass. a bass? Oh, a nice bass. bass. Oh, that is a nice bass. Since we ain't got no net sponsor, I guess I'm on my own. Yeah, we lost again. Our net. <laughs> Look at that. That's, that's a little smaller than the last one you caught out at the other spot. I guess I'm just stuck on a smallmouth. Yeah. Tell everybody what we're doing here. We're jo we've moved probably 10 times already this morning, Brian. Yeah, we've been uh, trying to get some perch, and uh, yesterday we got a few, but uh, yeah. today they're like shut right off. We've been searching, but we'll take whatever we can get, eh? I think, again, it's got to do with that water temperature. Once it warms back up, uh, hopefully we'll get these perch going. And wind's been switching directions and stuff, too, so we it haven't had any steady. Now it's pulling out of the south, so you know it's going to warm up. Let's get that girl back in there. We'll take whatever we can, <laughs> right? Boy, these things are strong. Yeah, they're, wow. they're strong. <laughs> oh, oh, I gave you the wrong thing. Here, I'm, I'm gonna see him take a bite. Well, I hate to tell you about your product, but it's terrible. <laughs> Can't even bite it. Here, try this instead. <laughs> I don't know what I got here, but it ain't no perch, I can tell you that. Well, oh, it's a perch. Uh, yeah. If that's a perch, we're, we're, we're doing good. It's a perch. Yeah. That ain't no, look at that rock. Come on, it could be a, a 18 inch perch. Yeah, right. Probably a sheep said. Ooh, Ooh, nice whoops, bass. Ba nice another bass. bass. Yeah. You know, I'll tell you something, Brian. I never catch this many bass when I'm out here by myself, but now that you're in the boat here. I must be a bass magnet. You gotta be, damn. Them bass. Hey, Phil. Yo. I thought you were fishing for these things. You're supposed to keep them away from us. I think I'm windless to the perch I get on this big jig. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. Power, eh? Yeah, they have a lot of power. Yeah, you know, we caught a bazillion of them the other day. I'll get this one. You go back to fishing. All righty. Hold on. Hey. That's not what we're fishing for. And, and basically what I'm doing now is I got my dead stick rig right next to me here, which I got out of the way, thanks to Brian. And I'm just casting that tube with a piece of crawler on there. And uh, Phil's actually up there with some Get Bit Baits plastic casting them, and I'm surprised that he caught that northern. I'm surprised that he hasn't caught, and they're almost all about the same size. I mean, how big are these, 18, 19? 18, 19 inches. I'm gonna measure this one real quick just to find out. Make sure my board. They sure are fun. Yeah, they are fun. I just wanna see how big he is. 19 on the nose. 19, 19 and an eighth, okay. okay eighth. All right, Maybe 19th and an eighth. Beautiful fish. I'll tell you that. But it's still not that 15 inch perch that I'm looking for. Hey, we'll just keep trying. You know what I say? Keep moving. A lot of bass today. Holy cats. Chip going there. That could be why the perch aren't biting either. Oh, I don't know. See you, we guy. Know, we know where the hungry bass is. Wow. Badger Sportsman Magazine, Wisconsin's premier outdoor magazine.
Fishing and Hunting in Wisconsin, written by outdoor enthusiasts from Wisconsin. Each issue features timely fishing and hunting articles from experts across the state. Badger Sportsman Magazine will help you make the most out of your time in the woods or on the water. Subscribe to Badger Sportsman Magazine today. Wings Over Wisconsin, a nonprofit organization dedicated to natural resource restoration, preservation, and education with youth and community involvement. Through cooperation with private landowners, state and federal agencies, Wings Over Wisconsin has been a leader in the preservation of our natural wildlife habitat with donated dollars staying in Wisconsin for Wisconsin. For information about how you can join this great organization or how to start a new chapter, please visit wingsoverwisconsin.org. I'm Mark Green. I'm Patrick Lynch. Welcome to our all new Lynch McQuanago dealership. The brand new Lynch McGuanago dealerships have over 500 new Chevys, Chryslers, Dodges, Jeeps, Rams, and pre-owned vehicles in stock and all priced to sell. Stop by and check out their massive selection of trucks and SUVs, perfect for all your fall outdoor sports. You do the driving, we'll do the listening, because I want you to love how you feel in your new ride. Nobody sells for less than Lynch. Tell you what, I am sick of that sun on me, boys. So I don't need any skin cancer. And it's a good way to cool down. So just gonna grab my bimini here. Oh, I can feel it's already, it's already 10 degrees cooler. Okay, you guys stay out there. I got a good spot here now. I just got to convince the perch to start biting and then I'll be in like Flynn. Honestly, you got to come underneath here and feel this. It's a definitely 10 degrees cooler. Hey, I got my own bimini top. Right. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Nice. Ooh, that there you better. go. You know, I'll tell you what, and that one's got it swallowed. Now that's a that's a good perch right that's there. That's a ten incher. Yep. How I'm long? Like ten inches. Okay, I'm measuring it. All right. It's All not right. 15, Let me get the hook out. But I'm gonna measure it, and that one's bleeding like a sieve, so that one we're definitely gonna keep them. Now, if you could catch me perch ten inches like that, I'll keep them to eat for sure. I don't like them any bigger than that. So if we do get a 15 incher, you know, I'm gonna let them go. But I'm telling you what, finally. It's warming up enough from 51 degrees. Three different layers I, I've shed it off already here. Got the bimini top up now and the fish are starting to bite. Why didn't we do this a long time ago? Legit. Oh, almost three quarters? Yep, almost 11, yep. 11 inch, okay. Hooray! Nice job, that, that, one, that one I can be proud of. The other one he caught, the other one he caught, he threw back in the live well before I had a chance to measure it. Yep. Is it a good one? Oh, it's a good one. Yep, it's a good see, one. You got a decent perch? Yep. You know, I just had a good hit. Let's see. What do you? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Now, that's, that's a nice closer. perch. Right. I'm going to measure them, but that ain't no that's 15 inches. That's got to be 11 anyway. All right, listen. It's just under 12. Nice. That's a nice perch right there. No doubt. Can I see? Yep. Well, you get a chance. Yep. It's a nice perch. 12 incher. Hey, you know what it is, Larry? Nice one. You know what it is? I just covered up my face so they don't know I'm here fishing for them. Oh, Look at I caught That's them. what it is. That's all I had to do. Hey, well, let's try it again. Well, only after about six hours we finally got a 12 incher. Now we need to get a little bit bigger, like another three inches, my friend. Keep trying. We'll keep that one. Double. Yeah, what? All right. Look. Oh. <laughs> on your double rig? On a double rig. That one's got to be 11. That's a nice one. And a nine? Yep. Two See? Nice put a sandwich and look what happens. Right. We right. your board. Right. right. Where's oh. your board? He's just salty. He's not catching anything. Yeah, I'm kicking his butt for once. Here we go. I'll tell you what. I've been catching but This one's a little bit better. Now, I would consider that an eater. 
but I'll tell you what, it's still not 15 inches. Hold it way out at me. Yeah, it might be 15. Go. Oh, it's starting to grow. Right, right. Shotgun Steve Schaefer in the kitchen with the better half, Mr. Shotgun. We have some leftover Cajun Craigers fish, the perch, that we got from Mike Smith's Smith Bait Outdoors, whatever you want to call the place, the bait shop. And we are going to make fajitas. I'm going to work tomorrow. The boys at work want fajitas. So the wife and I are going to wrap some stuff up. You want to want to buy a ranch and a little sriracha off the bat? Sure. Let's put that in. Just put a little layer on it. Don't bother me, just, you know, keep going. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Tomatoes out of the garden, onions out of the garden. This is a great time of year. So what are you doing, just slicing them up real thin? Slicing so they, it up, yep. You're gonna ch just chuck it in there like that? I or? am. Okay. I'm gonna take the lettuce that I've already cut. You did or I did before you walked into the scene? <laughs> I can't remember how that went. Uh, I did, of course. Okay, good. I'm glad you're in the, involved in the situation here, wife. We need cheese. I'm getting it right now. You, you. We have sweet onions, a couple of tomatoes, fresh tomatoes out of the garden. Awesome time of year. Oh, is this? Uh, you used to make these in that uh, taco wagon you used to work in when you were younger. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Yes or no? All right. Always yes fold in the end. Yeah. Yeah. Take it, put it tight. Yeah. Hold it over. Yeah. Yep. Yep. All right. And now what? And now, because you're going to work, yeah. we're going to wrap it up there for you. Do you help or anything, or you got sure, this? Sure, I got this. Oh, good. Fold in the end. Same with that? Yeah, fold in the end. Fold in the end. Right? Yeah. Right. And then what? Whoa. Pro. Hear that pro, guys? That bang, bang, we got to bang. There oh. it is. That's one. Let's go. Let's get the assembly line All going right. there, woman. <laughs> mm. Where did you put That's in this? It. Italian. Is this perch? Mm. You have no clue what's in here, do you? It is. It's the perch. Oh, yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. The perch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With the Craigers wrap. <laughs> I'm going for one more. You got another mm -hmm. one in you? Really? <laughs> <laughs> that is good. From the... Hold on, folks. <coughs> I'm loving this sandwich. From the kitchen of Shotgun Steve Schaefer and the better half <laughs> Mrs. Shotgun, <laughs> it's a great day to make a fajita. <laughs> For over 25 years, Midwestern Shooter Supply has been your premier dealer for hunting supplies. Our staff is friendly, experienced, and certified with over 15 years in gunsmithing experience. We're your one-stop shop for your hunting needs. Our inventory is at the lowest possible price, and we will match any other dealer advertised price. Do you do more than hunt? Check out our supply of fishing products as well. Visit Midwestern Shooter Supply today, or shop our web store at mwshooters.com. Midwestern Shooter Supply. We want to be your outdoor supplier. Introducing the next generation of Sonar. Sonar Foam by Vexlar, the world's first smart device sonar. Download the free app. Try the demo feature and see why Sonar Foam will rival the performance of Sonar systems costing hundreds more. The Sonar Phone does not require cell phone coverage. You create your own Wi-Fi hotspot and can share with your friends. Download the free app today. And for a limited time, with any purchase of a Sonar Phone, you get a free smartphone armband. That's the Sonar Phone by Vexlar.
Hey, I'll tell you what, this week's tip of the week is brought to you by our good friends up at Tiger Ten up there, Mike's Country Meats, the finest jerky on the planet. And I'm gonna tell you something, I was up front casting up there, I was feeling a little hungry. This could be the ultimate tip of the week, of the whole year. Okay, thinking to myself, I'm up front there, I'm a little hungry for pie, but I forgot my spoon. Look at that pie, beautiful pie. Better than anything Shotgun Schaefer ever cooked up. I'm telling you what, if you're out here and you forget a spoon or a fork, take your favorite crankbait. Watch them hooks. No man, I'm gonna pop it here. Look at this. How does anybody like? I mean, like, can't you eat a piece of pie with your hand? Not this pie. <laughs> like a normal person? <laughs> no. Why would I have to? Kids. Yeah, please. If you're gonna use a crankbait for eating food, like I am, please take the hooks off. And that's good pie. We wouldn't know. Got one? Yep. Ooh, whatever this is is nice. If this, is a finally? this might be our 15 inch perch here, fellas. Yeah, whatever. Oh, oh it's a walleye. A walleye? Oh, it's a nice one now. Okay. Well, no net, so get them in. I'll get them in. How nice is he? Oh, that's a decent walleye, yeah. You know, it's amazing. Uh, we still haven't seen that 15 inch perch today, my friend. Even with the tube as well. No 15 inch sheep head either. All right. That's a nice wallet. Right. I think that's why we have it. I wish that was a perch instead, but we'll take it because it's been a rough day today. Nice deal. Let's let her go though. We're not. We're yeah, perch we got, fishing, we got enough. We got enough perch today. anyway to eat. You got enough perch fry, man. Still nice a nice wallet. Nice wallet. <laughs> I'll tell you what, we were trying to get that 15 inch perch today, did not happen. I think the biggest one we got was close to 13. You know, that's one thing about when you're filming a TV show every week, things don't always happen the way you want them to happen, but we caught a lot of fish, had a lot of fun, and that's what it's all about for sure. Hey, make sure you also check us out on our social media sites. We have a lot of great things that happen during the week that you definitely want to be aware of. Hey, and the other great thing, Make sure that you check out this month's issue of the Badger Sportsman Magazine. The issue is out now, so make sure you check it out. And just remember, like I always say, what a great day to be alive. Shut it off! <laughs>